We are now seeing the clearest images ever recorded of the third interstellar object, 3I Atlas, captured by the European Space Agency. But something strange is happening inside our own solar system. The path of 3I Atlas passes just nine degrees from the source of the famous WOW signal detected in 1977. Could this be a coincidence? Or something that was planned long before we ever knew it existed? Its behavior is breaking the laws of physics as we understand them. And just as the world is searching for answers, NASA, the most powerful space agency on Earth, has suddenly gone silent. What are they hiding and why now? It started with a moment of silence, one that felt heavier than usual. For months the world had followed 3I Atlas, the mysterious interstellar object racing through our solar system. Most of what we knew came from NASA. Their telescopes had first confirmed the object's strange speed and hyperbolic path, proof that it came from beyond our solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope analyzed its light spectrum, detecting traces of water vapor and carbon dioxide long before it ever neared the sun. NASA's early reports described it as unlike any comet or asteroid ever observed. Then all of a sudden the updates stopped. On October 7, 2025, while NASA's data channels went dark, the European Space Agency stepped forward. It released the clearest photos ever captured of 3I Atlas, taken not by deep space telescopes, but by the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express, two probes orbiting Mars that had never been meant for this kind of observation. To capture the object, engineers pushed their instruments beyond design limits, adjusting software extending exposure times and redirecting their communication systems to detect a target over 100,000 times dimmer than their usual focus. When the first image appeared, it stunned the control room. It showed a faint sphere of light surrounded by a misty halo that shimmered against the blackness of space. The object didn't reflect sunlight like a comet. It glowed softly, as if something inside it was alive. The photo was released to the public within hours, described as an unexpected pattern of light behavior. At that exact moment, NASA went completely silent. The high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter capable of the sharpest planetary imaging ever made, suddenly stopped transmitting data. No new updates appeared. No explanation was offered. The shutdown of the US government was the reason given, but the timing raised eyebrows everywhere. To the public, it looked like two worlds colliding. On one side, transparency, openly sharing every image and every calibration file. On the other, silence and secrecy. One agency handed the mystery to the world, the other shut its doors. Even more curious was what NASA had last shown before going dark. Days earlier, the Perseverance rover had captured a faint streak across the Martian sky, believed to be 3 eye Atlas during its approach. NASA confirmed the sighting, but never released the high-resolution version. It was said that the high-rise camera could have captured the object with unmatched clarity. But when the new photos appeared, NASA's feed froze mid-update. When astronomers plotted the orbit of 3I Atlas, they expected chaos. An object arriving from another star system should have entered our solar neighborhood at a random angle. Instead, what they found left even the most experienced scientists speechless. The path of 3I Atlas was almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk on which all the planets orbit the sun. Its tilt was only 4.89 degrees, a difference so small it had less than a 1% chance of happening by coincidence. No other interstellar object, not even Oumuamua or Borisov, had ever traveled this way. That was only the beginning. As the data came in, another pattern appeared. The object had passed near Mars, Venus and Jupiter, the only three planets positioned for ideal observation at that exact time. It wasn't just close, the timing was almost surgical. When Mars was at its nearest point for observation, 3I Atlas swept by within 18.6 million miles. Weeks later, it approached Venus at the best viewing angle for Earth-based telescopes. By late October, Jupiter's gravity lined up perfectly to give it a potential slingshot trajectory toward the Sun. Scientists wondered, if 3I Atlas had entered from deep interstellar space, how did it find a path so precisely matched to the solar system's geometry? Simulations showed the odds of it appearing exactly where it did were less than 1 in 10,000. Some theorists began to question whether the alignment was an accident at all. 
From the moment detailed data arrived, the object's behavior challenged everything known about comets. Estimates placed its nucleus between 320 meters and 5.6 kilometers across. Massive, even for an interstellar visitor. Yet despite shedding material, it showed almost no wobble or thrust. Its implied acceleration was so small that scientists calculated its mass must be immense, around 33 billion tons. Even stranger was its light reflection. Polarimetric data showed an extreme negative polarization branch reaching a minimum of 2.77% at a phase angle of about 6 to 7 degrees. This had never been seen before. Its chemistry too was odd, rich in CO2 and water ice far from the sun, but lacking iron where expected. It looked like a comet, but didn't act like one. Astronomers debated whether this was a natural body or something else entirely. One astrophysicist described it as a record breaker that behaves more like a spacecraft than a snowball. Others remained cautious, but the word unexplained kept surfacing. Then came the most chilling link, the wow signal. When mapped, 3i Atlas's entry point was only nine degrees away from the signal's source, Sagittarius. That mysterious 72-second radio burst from 1977 had never been explained. Now nearly 50 years later, an object entered from nearly the same part of the sky. Light variations near 1420 Memiorans, the same hydrogen frequency as the WOW signal, appeared in new data. Though not a transmission, the coincidence stirred scientists. Some argued it was natural noise. Others said the pattern was too clean. The hydrogen line is often called the universal calling card of intelligent life. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb proposed a bold idea. What if messages across the stars come not as sound or code, but as objects, objects that move, display anomalies, and carry meaning through their motion? Public fascination exploded. Forums filled with orbit models, calling it the most suspicious trajectory in modern astronomy. Attention then shifted to a new theory, planetary seeding. Some suggested that 3i Atlas might not just be communicating, it might be creating. The planetary seed theory proposes that life spreads from one world to another through natural or designed carriers, icy bodies holding microbes or prebiotic compounds. Spectral data supported this possibility. Organic carbon, methane, complex hydrocarbons, and water ice, all vital for life, were detected. Unlike other comets, 3 Pi Atlas didn't fragment near the sun. Instead, it released rhythmic bursts, spreading carbon-rich material evenly into space. It behaved less like it was dying and more like it was planting something. Models confirmed that this pattern could help microscopic particles travel vast distances. When traced backward, 3i Atlas appeared to originate near the habitable zone of another star system, possibly Kepler-44, known to host Earth-like planets. If true, this visitor might carry the chemistry of life from another world. It reframed everything. Perhaps life isn't unique to Earth, but part of a universal network of connected worlds. By early October 2025, 3i Atlas had moved so close to Mars that it entered the planet's orbital path. The ExoMars and Mars Express orbiters captured direct images, the first ever taken of an interstellar object from another planet. The object maintained a perfect course after the flyby, showing stability unknown to natural comets, as more nations joined the effort to study it. Observations confirmed a repeating pattern, flashes every 11 hours synchronized across multiple instruments. Radio scans detected emissions pulsing at the same rhythm. Spectral readings revealed energy spikes near the hydrogen line once again.